everybody. Welcome to the first May edition of Monday Musings. Uh, this is going to be a relatively content light musings uh, because this week is just a nice, quiet, uh, normal, normal week. Though uh, we've got a number of baptisms coming up uh, this weekend and uh, for for the rest of this month, which is always always exciting. We've got First Communion coming up in a couple weeks, which is exciting for our children and uh, their families. I think we have 55, uh, if memory serves, uh, making their First Communion. Of course, we've already had confirmation. Uh, we had that back in Lent, uh, thanks to just the scheduling with, with the bishop's office. Uh, we have, um, after that, we'll have eighth grade graduation. Uh, on Memor the Friday of Memorial Day weekend. Uh, then also that weekend is uh, my 25th uh, Jubilee, so hopefully uh, some of you will be around and able to come to that uh, special Mass on Sunday evening of Pentecost. It's also Pentecost weekend, uh, which is also very nice because I was actually ordained on a Friday before uh, Pentecost. Um, there were five of us uh, that were ordained, uh, and we needed the whole weekend for for first masses. Friday is not a traditional day for for ordinations, but uh, that was the day that the bishop and the church and everybody was was available. Anyway, uh, so that's that's kind of what's coming up uh, this month. Lots of lots of good stuff. Um, the book study is going well, even if you're not able to come on Monday morning. I do uh, recommend you uh, read uh, Dr. Han's book, The Lamb's Supper. Uh, it's uh, it's generating a lot of, of nice conversation and people are uh, getting a lot out of it, of course, which is why we do uh, these these uh, book studies. And you know, of course, it's my first uh, here at St. Dominic's and be my last, sadly. Um, because of because of the pandemic, but it, it, it is fun. We get together in the parish hall uh, and chat for about an hour or so after after the morning mass. Um, but uh, that is what is going on this week. I also wanted to mention uh, that you're not going to see Father David uh, around this week. Don't worry about him. Uh, he is on vacation. Uh, so he is uh, away this week. So you will see him this weekend. Uh, he's just away having having a good time. And actually when he comes home and learns that it was gray and even rainy for a day or two this week, he'll be very happy uh, that he was that he was gone and not here, because uh, he's not a fan of of the gray weather, and especially, of course, we got all the rain that we needed uh, this winter. But uh, I guess he's a he's a spring kind of guy. Um, a number of you have pointed out how uh, beautiful the the roses are, of course. Uh, those are largely due to uh, Father David's ministration and love of, of roses, though he doesn't uh, do the primary care for, for the roses these days, but uh, he still uh, supervises and uh, gives the folks uh, lots, of, lots of advice. But they are, they are glorious, uh, and so many things are in bloom. My sympathies go out to those of you who have allergies, uh, I have allergies myself, though I uh, finished a uh, regimen of, of immunotherapy shots, so, so raising my tolerance for the things that I'm allergic to. So uh, I barely take any allergy medication anymore, whereas in the old days, I mean, I was popping, popping pills all the time. It was pretty, pretty awful uh, just to get a little bit of relief. Uh, so as I say, for those of you who are suffering from allergies, from all the pollen in the air, my heart does go out to you, though I, I still get a little bit of, of congestion and a frog in my throat uh, these days. But, you know, that's, that's life in California in the springtime, but um, always has been. Anyway, hope everybody has a lovely week. I look forward to uh, seeing uh, many of you this weekend uh, at the Masses. So thank you, God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.